that we're live. Hello. How is everyone today? Hopefully they're not hearing some weird muffle. Right. I'm like, "Hmm, did I just gurgle (laughs) as I'm holding it up to my throat? (laughs) It's so so I. I feel like this is what we do like every day now. I know, but it's like, always it's, Tuesday. It's, it's it's always Tuesday. So, oh, I mean, we have not for you guys, but we have something tomorrow morning and then we have our thing on Friday afternoon and yeah. just three times a week. That seems to be like our going right. thing these days. Right. It's just crazy, but it's fun. It's nice to see you guys. And, yes. You know, cause I can totally see you. <laughs> <laughs> so hello hi. everyone who's saying hi. We are, um, Sarah's very excited today. I know, my there's cabinetry. there's some special boxes for her right outside our door, so she yeah. is um, very very excited. My cabinets came, and uh, yeah. my people are <laughs> loading <laughs> our, our people. We have minions today <laughs> that are doing all of the hard work while we're here talking <laughs> to you guys. Yeah, it's a great plan. Yeah, we had six pallets of stuff delivered today. Three of the pallets were mine. Those were my <laughs> cabinets. Um, but three of them were sewing machine stuff. So we sewing, got embroidery, and all and, kinds of. Um, a bunch of 500s, PS 500s. Oh, so waiting. we have those back in stock. That's fantastic. Yeah. So um, they came back in stock today. And uh, it was kind of interesting that it was a brother and a baby lock delivery. Yeah, that's not normal. On they the came on the same truck. truck. That is really weird. But yeah. hey, we're just fun. That makes it not the same as every other time. It is. And tomorrow... So. Um, we got our delivery date for our new cat, the other new cabinets, not the new cabinets that I'm taking. Not the ones she's taking home, the ones for the (laughs) The store, store. um, which are the arrow kangaroo arrow and kangaroo um, cabinets. And so, um, if you would like to come in this weekend, we should have them all hopefully made pretty and and where we want them to be. And they're, they're temporary permanent homes Mm -hmm. and, um, don't come tomorrow looking to see the cabinets. cabinets. They will still be in boxes. Yeah, we, I, <laughs> We're yeah. going to work. Um, the, we, this delivery came late today. It did. It came super late. We kept going, goodness. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. We're going to run out of time. And, and we're both like, that means I'm not having to deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh. um, yeah, so they're out there using their muscles. They are. Um, yes. Yeah. Yes, it's funny. It's um, um, my muscles are just sitting here. Sandy being all just wants to say thank you. Finally, getting around to the Bella box. The videos have been so helpful. Thank you so much for taking the time to do Aww. this. For us. We are so welcome. We had so much fun. fun doing it. Yeah. Um, you know, it's funny because I still have not stitched one thing out of the other two boxes. Me either. Um, I keep looking at it, going, I really should, should do, do that. that. <laughs> but you know, I made Main Street celebration instead. Yep. And I have this pile of patches that. Yeah. I just got so disgusted with the last batch. Mm-hmm. Nothing worked right. So just so you guys know, I have the same problems as you do. There's <laughs> days that my machine just does not want to stitch. And yeah. it says, no. Yeah. I wonder if one of us should get that. It occurred to me that there's no one um, inside. There is no, hang on. Oh, maybe Hayden oh. had it. Nope. Nope. <laughs> and there's no one there. They must've, maybe they were, maybe, maybe they, they realized. <laughs> Hi, Sorry Janet. if you're listening. Hi, Trish. Hi, Janet. <laughs> Barb, Mary. Whoops. Hi, everybody. Oh, yeah. Michelle, Shirley. Yeah, we're not trying to miss anybody. But anyways, it's, been like, it's kind of been like that kind of a day, right? It has. Um, it's, it's been a day. <laughs> Son of a gun. Okay, hang on again. <laughs> oh. Too funny. See, we're live. Uh, the phone rings every week while we go live. Um and uh it's just lisa and i inside today so um and somebody's setup, asking about so the cabinets Friday, Saturday, um, <laughs> good timing I would recommend coming so yeah we got uh cabinets in and machines in for today and we're um, getting more cabinets in tomorrow and um gene is going to be home for a couple of days uh he's going to come friday and then he'll probably be here uh, Monday, Tuesday, um, and yes. Wednesday so for a little while. We'll so um, he's expecting um, a grandbaby. So um, make sure you call him um, grandpa the yes, next time you um, see him. That's super um, important. Um, today, um, let's see, what do we have coming up? We have OESD uh, freestanding lace. So, so we did send out um, the email yesterday, just as a reminder about the OESD uh, LACE virtual event. Um, it doesn't cost anything to attend. Um, you can watch it. Um, they don't keep theirs up for too long, just 24 hours. So um, if you can't make it to the live event, still register so that you can watch it later on. Um, because like I said, it'll be up for about 24 hours. 
and she's back and <laughs> you'll be able to to watch that we were just talking about the OESD virtual event um Cool. We're super excited. I so um, I yeah, we were we just jumped on that right away. And they were like, <laughs> I'm, I'm like, like first in place. place. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Absolutely. Let's do that. Yep. So yeah. So um I was playing with lace. I don't know. Did you see my shirt? You did show me. Yeah, shirt. I showed you the that shirt. Really so cute. I am uh, working on a, a lace cutout lace mm -hmm. um that I thought maybe we could do a class on because that's fun um and different and not something that we do every day. Yeah. So that was funny. Someone was calling about the cabinets. Yeah. <laughs> Are you kangaroo cabinets in yet? And I said, well, they're being delivered tomorrow, tomorrow. but I wouldn't come until. So yeah. She's coming Saturday. There we go. And I'm sure she told me her name and I have since forgot it in that 10 seconds. My bad. That's okay. It'll be on the call already. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry if you're listening. Oh uh, yeah. Well, you know, Ooh. it happens. So, um, yeah. So OESD is coming up next week. We have, um, the skin and cut our, our class. Our skin and cut and, and your foot um, fetish. Um, foot those fetish. are either Wednesday what or. What am I doing? Piping feet. You're doing piping. Piping feet. Yes. Um, I'm like, oh, what am I doing? Have I have I worked on that yet? <laughs> <laughs> am I ready? No. I had this <laughs> moment of panic this morning that it was next this, week yeah. that we had class this week, and I was like, I'm not ready. I've been working on it. Yeah. Like diligently working on it. I have this seven-page handout that's nowhere near done yet, but um. We'll get there. Oh, don't start. Shoot. Um, Son of a gun. Don't start. <laughs> oh, look, my mind is restored. <laughs> oh, Lisa and I were playing I, this merge I, game. I don't have notifications <laughs> for that. <laughs> so we both play the same game. Yeah. I think you're trying to catch up to me. Uh, yeah, we were playing the same game, and yeah. uh, my my uh, my iPad is in front of us. That's what we're using for That's the camera. That's what we're using, and it and just it always pops up on screen. Shows notifications, and um, it showed the notification that my mind was ready. Yeah, it shows you um, notifications about when your hubby's here too. It does. Yeah, but hubby's already here. He's today, already here. So. It's not that you know. Um, now that I don't have a smart car, you know, the Jeep is not smart, so it's not connected. Um, yeah, I feel like my car is pretty dumb too. My Equinox <laughs> was really smart, and when it would when he would get here my my I, because it was my car my <laughs> ipad or my phone would connect to it and um like if somebody sent me right. a text or a phone it, it would, would be go there in the right. car and right, i'd be right. like why can't i get this it was pretty funny yes because it makes it like red yeah on your phone mine does well my car does the same thing if only i were driving it, it would, tomorrow yeah. tomorrow yes tonight. yes I'm gonna be mad dashing out of here at um, five o'clock <laughs> What is Stop. the Stop. Cut class? I'm so sorry. Oh Stand my goodness. Cut class is going to be all about um, canvas, canvas workspace. workspace. So there has been a um, long time ago, it was called something different, but um, it is going to be the online version of, you can't see my hand, it's way over there. Uh, the online version and then also the downloaded um, for PC or Mac version. Um, so there's two different ones and they do the same basic thing, but where you find the buttons to do them. And um, with the new machines, they're got to love them. Brother has some things that you have to do in one place and some <laughs> things you have to do in the other. So and it, uh, we'll be talking about those yeah. things and hopefully um, taking the mystery out of where do I find fill in the blank. Mm -hmm. um, and we'll we'll be walking through both. Yeah, it wasn't as big of a deal until the this yeah. most recent time. This most recent um, release of things uh, did make the, the roll feeder was the first thing that you had to have the downloaded version for, um, and now they've added um, to that. So we'll talk about the differences between the two, mm -hmm. um, but then also the similarities, but how do you find that button right. um, that you're looking for and where it's located at and so on and so forth. So um, as I said, I'm working on a handout, so there'll be actual written instructions that you guys can follow along take your own notes on, you know, all of that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and then we'll also reference the actual help um, like the manual kind of thing. We'll, we'll talk about where you guys can find that. So if you have a more specific question, um, actually covering two like basic whole programs yeah. in two hours is going to be a lot. So yeah. um, there, there's not She's gonna going talk to fast. be, yes, I'll talk really, really fast. And you guys have to pay attention. Then you can mm -hmm. go back to the recording and find those. Right. And then, then you can just slow. <laughs> and then you can down. go slow pace. Um, <laughs> so this will all be Wednesday next week, which is, I believe the 17th mm -hmm. or Saturday. Um, my classes are at close. Uh, Sarah's classes are at 930 in the morning. So her foot fetish is 930 AM either Wednesday or Saturday next week. And then my class is at close, which is five o'clock Wednesday or three o'clock Saturday. 
um, you do need to register um, so that I send you the stuff because <laughs> otherwise you can't get into the link. Yes. Um, you will need to, there's no fee for um, either one of them mm -hmm. um, this time around. So um, just call, give us your name so that we know. For scan and cut. For scan and cut um, for, for hers, click just, fetish, click, on just click on the link, which is on, um, on our, our website, website or, or in the email, the email newsletter um, or on the Facebook email newsletter. <laughs> yeah, there's there's lots of places to find it. Some easier to find than others, right. but we're, uh, I will, speaking of the website and all of those wonderful things, I do plan to post the event uh, link Mm -hmm. um, on Friday. So sometime during the day on Friday, I will post that link so that you guys can, um, be able to easily do that if you missed it. Um, is it no, Pam, I can't, this workspace is the, it's the same, no matter which it is. you have, right? It doesn't matter yep. if it's an older. Nope. And it's not actually specific to your machine. The downloaded version will ask you when you go to download it, what machine you have to make sure that you have all of the features needed. Um, so if you have one of the new machines, um, I think you get some other options that you might not necessarily have if you have the other, but it is for all machines. So we sold 350, the 550 and the 650, which are the CM series. And we now sell the 225. We now have the 225F or the 230D or the 230DX. So all of those machines, Canvas Workspace is actually kind of a standalone piece, just like your machines are standalone. They don't have to have the program. Um, outside of having to have one to register the machine, you don't, it, it's completely free program um, and very easy to um, pop on. How dare you be late, mom? I'm so <laughs> hurt. Hi, mom. <laughs> Just got to give her a little bit of crap, you know. Um, so, um, so Cindy's workbook is more about the machine than about Canvas Workspace. So they're not my class that I'm doing next week is not really going to have much, if anything, to do with Cindy's book. I'm not going to use it or reference it. Oh, um, one of my pretty cabinets. <laughs> <laughs> I'm easily distracted. <laughs> yeah, we're like, oh, oh, look, what is that, squirrel? Is that <laughs> yeah. squirrel? Yeah. Um, but yeah, so uh, it, you can certainly reference the book to your, um, but I'm not going to be talking about the actual scan and cut really other than to answer a question or in reference of you can send something from here or that. We're not going to be talking about scanning cut itself. We'll be talking about the programs that are available to prepare things for the scanning cut. Yes. So you bet. Happy to be a service. Yes. All right. So what do we got? We got buttonholes today. Um, button, button. Who's got the button? Right. Big old button. Big old buttons. <laughs> so we are going to show you on two different machines mm -hmm. um, how to create the buttonhole. And then I'm also going to show you, though I don't have an actual button. <laughs> to um, attach. Um, I think I can find a button. Well, while you're doing maybe the Maybe while I'm doing, yeah, he said they were in a closet labeled in something. I briefly ran in there. I could find them. Yes. Um, um, I and think God I forbid, let's not distract him because they're doing really good. Right. But um, yeah, so I will show you guys how to use the standard button hole foot, mm -hmm. which is your A foot, A as an apple. And um, we'll, we'll talk about that, how you can adjust it, which direction and that it flows, all of that good stuff. And then I'm going to real quick show how to actually tack on the button itself. And um, is that your dad? <laughs> Hi, dad. <laughs> <laughs> Only buttonhole I ever had trouble with is the one they didn't get cut open. <laughs> so we can also give you some tips on how to do that. Okay. So next time that happens, dad, I'm going to show you exactly how to fix it. Yes. Um, or you can just bring it to me and I'll do it for you because... That's a big cabinet. <laughs> I'm like, wow, that's a big box. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm gonna scooch over there. Yeah. And then we will get that started. Mm -hmm. And then Sarah's gonna run to the other side of the store and try to find us a I button. Am. And then um, we'll show you how to do that. Um, and then there is a new foot. Um, it is this beautiful monstrosity. It is like as big as my head. Um, that is the A plus because I've always wanted an A plus, right? right? I mean, that's, I've received A pluses we before. Do get A pluses. Absolutely. <laughs> Every class I've ever taken. Um, anyway, that is the new foot um, that is available for the Luminaire or the Solaris. Um, and it, the reason it's A plus is because you can do extra yes. buttons. So there's some really fun um, pieces that we can play with. So mm -hmm. we'll show you that and I'm going to scooch around. Okay, be careful on your yeah, cord. I'm, just thinking, oh yes, don't rip that off. Right. 
I think there's plenty of cord. But... There's plenty of cord as long as I don't rip it out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wow. here we go. I'm almost there. All right, I'm gonna go. I want my glasses just to make sure. Find a button. Sarah's gonna go find a button. So. This uh, machine that we are showing you today is the Bias and Boy Q1350. So there are lots of machines that have this same feature. So I'm just going to use the lever in the back here and drop that J foot off. This is the adorable um, button attachment foot. We're gonna set that aside for now. And then here is the A foot. Um, it does have kind of an embossed A right here. You can't see it quite as well. Uh, because it's white on white basically so the way that this works is this will slide and you can place your button in there so i don't have a button so i'm going to use a bobbin just so that you guys can see and then that will stay in position in the back of the foot what that does is it specifically sets up the distance between the two here so what we're going to do is we're going to attach that foot on this one here, and I have some extra thread there, sorry, because of that bobbin, the button attachment piece is in the back. So just like every other foot, we are going to um, attach that right here just by lowering your ankle on top of the little bar. So we are all set up. On this foot here, we have alignment pieces. We have some red lines so that you can get them perfectly set up with where you're going. I am threaded with white thread so that you guys can hopefully see nice and clearly um, where my stitches are going. So I'm gonna go ahead and lower the foot. Now, I don't think you guys can see, but maybe you can. Um, right here, we have the um, start stop button. I have not yet selected my buttonhole, so I need to do that real fast. And you're gonna, if you can see that light, you'll see that it is going to disappear and change to a red light because I don't have one step done yet. So here we go with my buttonhole and this has now turned red here. And again, I'm not sure how high um, you guys can see this. The big thing that you have to do is right over here, there is a lever that we need to pull down. So when we pull that down, buttons. somebody found buttons. How about that? Which closet were they in? Um, the girl's closet. Ah. Um, so you can see that I have this, and it actually says A2 in my button, so we're just going to leave that. Can I have a button? Hi. <laughs> Sarah's on the phone. We're double duty in today. So what we're going to do is make sure that our buttonhole lever, which is right here, this is its okay. only job, and it has a picture of a buttonhole I, on sorry, that, to needs to be behind the white right, right here. Right now? Uh, would it be possible for us to give you a call when we're done? So you can see here that I have the le first front piece here and the gray button lever that I'm pulling down sits behind it. Yes. <laughs> oh, wow. Those were not the buttons I was anticipating. Does that work? Maybe. Is that too big? No, I can get those. Okay. okay. All right. So I've got an actual button back there and that piece there is going to keep my two pegs that it's going to bounce between in line with each other so that it's the exact size that I need it to be for that button. So I, if I'm actually making a shirt or a pillow back or something that I am a, going to attach that button, I don't wanna use a random button back here. It needs to be the actual button that we're going to put in because that is denoting the size of the buttonhole. Can they see this at all? Uh, yeah, I oh, think so. I can are see you just really laughing good. at what I'm saying? I was just laughing at the random button. I think you should just totally use a random button. You know, <laughs> it could be like a hodgepodge. We'll call it a hodgepodge pillow and we'll just have <laughs> random buttons on the back. Um, but that is how it chooses that size is based on the button that you put in there. So mm -hmm. don't just have a bus random button. You got to <laughs> choose the right one. So um, I have just basic um, piece down here. If I try to sew with this not in position, my button is red. I don't know if you guys can see they that or see not. That That's what I thought. But if I push the start stop button, most machines will actually tell me right on the screen, it now says to lower the buttonhole lever. So if you don't remember, your machine will tell you. So now I just need to get that down again. And again, I wanna make sure it's behind that first white peg. As soon as I hit the start stop button, or if I have my foot pedal plug, uh, plugged in, we're gonna go ahead and just hit the gas. So 
if you're noticing this is starting at the very front so when you are making your alignment you need to start your buttonhole at the base of the buttonhole and it's going to work back so the first thing that we did was um, sew back on the left hand side and now it is going um it jumped over to the right and it's coming back down and it's going to do the zigzag at the bottom and then it's going to work its way back up and zigzag at the top and is, do you know why it does that lisa i'm sure you can tell me <laughs> so the reason it does that is because traditionally when you sew forward with a zigzag stitch and you sew backwards with the zigzag stitch it looks different so that's the reason why the machine sews both of the sides so they in the, same in the same direction so they look the same so when I hit my scissors and this lifts everything up, I'm going to raise my foot and it's going to shoot that back to its original position. Nothing's wrong. That's exactly what's supposed to happen. I'm going to go ahead and drop this foot so you guys can see what we're doing. And you can see Look at that my beautiful buttonhole button and that my random button fits perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So my dad, if you're still listening, um, the easiest way to open, can you, Am I okay position wise? Mm -hmm. Yep, All that's right. perfect. You're gonna put a straight pin. So literally, do we have one over there? Mm -hmm. Awesome sauce. Almost got more than I bargained for there. <laughs> um, we're gonna literally just put a straight pin right at the top across that top zigzag. And what that is going to do is basically be a stop catch for my seam ripper, which is what I'm going to do. So I literally stab in the bottom. Can you guys see that? So my needle, is i don't have a needle <laughs> so my pin is here and my seam ripper is on the opposite end and then all i have to do can you see here mm -hmm. okay is push right up and that pin is going to stop so i can't blow through it and screw up the buttonhole so now i have an actual opening which my button can of course fit through Ooh, good Yay, job, that's job. what we're supposed to do so how do we actually attach that button well i'm not sure that this is going to fit so let's just take a peek yeah it'll work does it fit it does it's just got a really weird thing over the yeah one hole it's... um do you want to um do you want me to come on the other screen so that we can uh sit forward so they can actually see maybe the button all right so, so i'm gonna can you see here yeah that's good all right so this is the m foot there is a metal attachment on the back that is um, kind of a spring, if you will, it moves back and forth. So you can pinch that in there. So it's gonna be tight. You push it back and slide your button in. All right. And then you have your button holes here. Something I didn't know because I just avoided buttons, I guess before <laughs> I actually knew what the heck I was doing is that these buttons on a stand, these holes on a standard button are always the same distance apart. Yeah. It's crazy so, to think, but they are. They they actually are. So even those smaller buttons, the holes are the same distance apart. Mm -hmm. If you get a super decorative um, button that has maybe the four holes instead of just the two, or it's just such a huge button, they've they've made a, an adjustment to that. Um, you can certainly make the adjustment yourself. Um, but what we're going to do is we want to line up that red line here and here with the buttonholes in my button. So I'm gonna slide that in. You can see that there is a plastic pin in between them. Yes, can you see that? Or is it kind of blurry? It's there. Um, can you slide it forward and backwards so they That's can see? That's what I was gonna do, yeah. but I didn't know if they could see it. Yeah, I think so they'll be able to see it. that pin is able to be there slid out yep. and then back in. The reason that you have that pin is to give your button just a little bit of lift so that the fabric where the buttonhole is can actually fit underneath. So if you're just sewing this on for looks, you don't need that pin. If you're sewing it on to actually put it through a buttonhole, you need to have that lift so that there's room for that extra fabric underneath the button. So I'm gonna get rid of, sorry about the hand, that buttonhole lever because we don't need that. And on this machine, my actual tap down stitch is number 90 in my utility stitch menu. You guys have heard me say lots of times that I like to use a tacking stitch instead of um, necessarily, oh, I hit my thread back there. Um, instead of maybe um, doing that terrible hand stuff right. or um, other things, it's, um, let's say, <laughs> um, it, it's just a simple way to do a tack. So basically this is going to be 
a zigzag without um, without feet. any length. Yeah. It's literally going to just zigzag in place. Yeah. All right. Whenever you do a button, it's not just a recommendation. This is a mandatory thing. You always want to hand walk. All right. You can see that button is shifting just a little bit. And that one, that's what I was, there's a weird thing over top of this hole. The right hand side isn't quite as big as, I'm sorry, the left hand side isn't quite as big. You got a special button? Um, I have a special button. Um, I'm going to break the button if I use that. Okay. Pause again. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to switch buttons. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. More of a nice bright red button. Look how pretty your ring is, though. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. All right. So back to where I was before we tried making a big mess of things. Um, I definitely don't recommend trying to sew into a button. They like to crack. And um, I'm wearing glasses at this point in my life, but I have had a piece of a button fly up and hit me because I missed it just wrong. So you can see I'm lowering my hand wheel and I'm doing this manually mm -hmm. um, on the hand wheel. So I'm lowering that needle. I said hand wheel before, sorry. Um, and I know you guys can't see it, but there's a thread going over top of that center little prong that I showed you can move back and forth. Once I know that my needle positions um, are good and I'm not going to hit it, then I can either hit the gas or the start stop button. And it does that whole little ditty all by itself. And all I have to do is hit my scissors and raise my foot. Because of that um, little piece there, when I pull, it just releases right off the foot. And then I am all set to put that through my buttonhole. And it's all set. So of course I would trim. Um, a lot of people do prefer to put some stop fray um, inside their buttonhole so that they don't get the little edges. Um, that's totally a preference and certainly something that you can do if you would like to. Good job, Lisa. Any questions? Mm -mm. Okay, we'll nope. come back to you and we'll switch again. All right, so we're gonna switch back over here and we're gonna move the camera so that we can show you the, the big guy um, oh. in a minute. I've got my cork wrapped around <laughs> my foot. God no no falling. Um, Lisa's playing in the button jar. Well, I was going to try to find you one, but. <laughs> All right. So that was, um, that was like a traditional buttonhole. So that's pretty normal on a lot of sewing machines. That's a, that's a pretty common style. Um, depending on the brand of machine you have, um, might depend on whether or not you have to pull that little gray bar down. Uh, some machines use little eyeballs or cameras or things like that. We won't have to pull that down when we do that on the Solaris or the Luminaire over here. Um, but uh, most, <laughs> for the most part, the buttonholes themselves, um, they, they work the same. You, you pick the size, you put your button in your foot, and then, um, and then you let your machine do it. So, um, boy, does this make it so much easier than when we had to do like four step buttonholes. <laughs> So I know how to do that. Right. The only reason I know how to do that is because I have to, have teach, to teach it. Somebody right. how to I've do it. I've never actually done it at home. I know. Right. But that was something that when we had larger buttonholes that we needed that were too big to mm -hmm. use the actual button hole foot, we had to use that four step because you can adjust that to whatever you wanted it to be. Right. Um, so that was the way that we made that adjustment previously. Mm -hmm. um, this is really cool. <laughs> yeah. Right. So, um, Another thing I just want to throw out there is there are some darning stitches um, that are basically made with that buttonhole foot. So it basically does, mm -hmm. um, you know, kind of like your hole repairs if you needed to darn um, some random things. Um, I don't know if my dad is still watching. I've done that for him. And that's the way that I did it is using the actual buttonhole darning stitches. Mm -hmm. um, basically, you're just talking about a whole bunch of zigzags that have an edge to support it, which right. is exactly what you need when you're mending something. So absolutely, um, those are on pretty much any machine that has choices of buttonholes, you do have that option as well. So um, this one's going to be all you. This is going to be all me. Yeah, all right. <laughs> because I can't get to it without killing everything. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'm going to knock the camera over if so I try. So. We're going to switch over to the other camera again. Here we go. All right. How is that? Is that all right? I think that's pretty good. Maybe just a hair. So um, this is the big foot here. It's big. <laughs> it's, it's bigger so than big the camera. The camera I can't even see it. There we go. We have to like pan in and out. So um, on the previous 
machine. Um, we had a little lever that we had to pull down and it had to go between two bars. We don't have that on this machine. We're actually putting the button in the front here. So you can see we put our I have a screwdriver. screwdriver in there because we wanted to show just how big something a that, little bit bigger than your average. Right. That actually is. This isn't your average buttonhole foot. Right. <laughs> It's like a Taco Bell commercial. I'm, right. It's not your average taco. All right. All right. So, so we grab hold just the same way as we did before. Yeah, nothing new there. Um, and I'm going to select. Oh, we already have a buttonhole selected, so we can leave that one selected. Doesn't matter. Nope, that's perfect. So you guys might notice there's a little side thing that's over here. Um, that is actually for holding your fabric because when you're doing such a large buttonhole or as large as you could do on yes. here, there's a lot more chance that your fabric's going to start shifting and maybe get a pucker underneath. And of mm -hmm. course we don't want that. So um, here's your pretty polka dots and it just slit. I, yep. Mm -hmm. So there's actually a little bit of a guide um, over there. You can use however you would like. Um, there's a groove on the foot, the, the metal plate itself, or you can use that sidebar piece um, or you can draw what you need, depending upon what your pattern is calling for mm -hmm. as well. So, and just to let you know, um, the plate is there. Um, you can use the foot without the plate. You can, that so, is for the extra big ones. Yeah. If, if for some reason this did not work because of the placement and you couldn't turn your fabric around, you can to remove get that bottom hole, piece. You don't have to have that in there. Um, but you uh, just have to remove it off the machine because it doesn't it come off, off once it's been attached. Yes. So you just, you just have to take it off. But so now we have the buttonhole foot on and the machine is really smart. So, um, I just have to put my foot down and the, the machine is going to be ready for me to Tell stitch. My kids, they just have to learn, just put their foot down put and it'll all be fine. Just put your foot Sometimes down you and stick with it. just got to say it. no. Yep. <laughs> Sorry. I think of that every time I say that in a lesson or whatever, right. that's Don't your popping foot. through my head. Stop right. that foot. So um, I'm going to push the start stop button and it's not going to be happy with me because I have because the, foot the pedal. foot's plugged in. So I'm going to unplug the foot pedal. And then we're going to let the machine do its thing. So here. and we are at high speed. So I noticed this yesterday. It slows down. Um, we are using the start stop button and there is um, basically full gas. But you'll notice that the machine is making that accommodation where it needs it yep. to make sure that you're getting the stitch that you're looking for. Um, and so it's made its way to the back. Now we're working back down the right hand side. We'll zigzag at the base and then go back up the right. As Sarah said, that works um, that direction so that you're getting an equal stitch. Mm -hmm. So it looks the same um, both ways. So very, very cool. Um, and one of my favorite things is how big you can actually make this. So I don't know if all of you know this or not, but if you have an embroidery machine, if you have one of the larger ones, there's actually buttonholes. That one really shoots back, doesn't it? Does, it's like, yeah. boom. Um, but uh, there's that beautiful buttonhole and it's perfect. And all we would have to do is place our pin and um, shoot that seam. Where right the right. heck is the camera? Where's the there camera? Woo there's a giant buttonhole. Woo right? <laughs> We need to get out. Man, did you did you watch the Super Bowl? <laughs> I did not. Was it bad? Oh my gosh! When he uh, the weekend, uh, he went like behind and he had like this mirror thing, mm. and it was literally turning in circles and doing that forward and back movement. And I was like, I literally had to turn away. Oh. I, I got <laughs> nauseous watching it. I was like, holy crap! There should totally have been like a, a um a seizure warning for his show because it was just like holy crap. Right. That reminded me of that. Reminded you like, of that. Yeah. So yeah, this is um, got the ability to go. I'm so sorry. I see that's why I told you I was going to hit the camera. This has the ability to go super, super big, mm -hmm. um, which it's going to move that a little bit. You can see how big that buttonhole could be. Right. Absolutely nuts. Right. Um, and for those it's of like you. the same size as my pinky. Right. <laughs> I mean, that's huge. Um, for those of you who have a solar. <laughs> Just be really glad we're not showing our faces right now. So, still here. <laughs> You're not going to start sewing now. I would just like to say my dad helped me uh, work on my treadle machine. Mm -hmm. And he sat down and sewed with it immediately. Like, there was no playing around. He just sat down and started pedaling it. And it worked, like, perfectly. I'm like, how did you do that? <laughs> so, he can sew. Why am I mending his pants? True. Maybe he should be using that treadle machine. Maybe. <laughs> Just kidding, Dad. Um, so wait, don't tell my dad that I need to do mending. <laughs> All right. 
So um, I just wanted to um, make note that if you have a Solaris or Luminaire, I don't think you can see that little black button here. And there are also black buttons at the base here. Or not buttons, like little dots. dots. If when you have that foot down, then so you can see them now. If you cover up any of those button, the buttons, why do I keep calling them buttons? Dots. That's, if you cover up any of those black dots, the machine won't stitch. It literally turns the red button it back on. Right. So it, it also it happens if anything is covered over here. So, so it's, it's using the projector, projector to find that. So just like we said, there's no lever coming up and down over here to gauge that for it. So it's using those dots. Not really sure exactly how it's magic. Mm -hmm. That's it's what I'm surger. going with. It's just like the serger bars inside the auto tension sergers. They just, they're magic. They work. Mm -hmm. This is magic. It works. Don't question the process. That's right. Absolutely. You don't need to know why. You we don't need, need to, to know, know why as long as it's working. Now, when it's not working, then I'll pin Tony down and he'll have to actually figure it's it out. out. <laughs> but so far, we haven't had it, that, that problem. But even to, I had like Tony. I know he was over here. I don't understand how this works. <laughs> he was really cute. He's like, um, I'm gonna have to get the service manual. I'm like, I'm okay I'm like, not knowing. I'm okay not knowing either. Let's just, as long as it's working, we're gonna go with it. Yeah. So um, I just wanted to point that out that if when you put the foot down and your button is green, if you cover that button, it won't. Um, it, it turns red again. Let's so, show them. I'm gonna. Okay. But don't do that yet. Hold on. I can just bump it. I know, right? I just. Okay, I'll just hold it. You'll Go hold for it. it. Okay. Woo! All right. All right. So there, the button is green, red, green, green. red. It's like a confused okay. traffic light. Red. red. All right. So you can't touch any of those spots and have them it's okay covered over up. Here. All right. Apparently. They have to. <laughs> evidently, that doesn't do anything. So here, any of the black here written stuff. Here. Here. So they will flash that light. It's like a very confused traffic light. It doesn't know what to do. Um, but I just wanted to point that out so that if you have something covering up one of those for whatever reason, even if it's just your hand because you are so enraptured with what it's doing, it's not going to do it. <laughs> it won't. Your hair so. falls over. Right. Oh, God, that would be terrible. Wow. That's why there's a um, cover over here. <laughs> exactly. Um, and there are the same little hooks on the foot to use um, like a welting or cording yes, underneath cording. so that you can um, do a corded buttonhole, do a corded buttonhole, which is going to give you more support if you needed it mm -hmm. um, and yeah. for stretch fabrics and things like that. Yes. So um, there are the attachment pieces on this foot as well, just as the other. Mm -hmm. um, Cause there's 25 different <laughs> isn't that crazy? on um, this machine. And well, four of them are the four step buttonholes so that you can do the four sides but it still counts. It still counts. There's absolutely. Four absolutely. Parts, we'll right? go. With, we'll go with that. So <laughs> she's embellishing. All kinds of different. Yeah. I, like, like they don't right when they count like each right? of the letter of the alphabet. It's as like a when Jean stitch. says, "I've done that fifteen times," and when he's done it too. Yes. Yeah. It's just like that. You we just all, don't want your surgeon all to embellish. embellish. <laughs> no. No. I, of course, I don't know if not. I want them to be honest too. You're my first. <laughs> No, that's bad information. <laughs> Very bad information. Oh. So, you know, you can use these features, um, you know, even if you're not actually needing the button, you just want the look of that. Um, mm -hmm. You can use this. And, and now we have the options to do super large ones. Um, but again, as a quick yeah. uh, piece, you can have those done in your embroidery hoop if you have that option as well, which can be then, of course, completely spaced exactly where it needs to be right. and so on and so forth so and you've got lots of options you know if you've got this machine you've got a projector and a camera so you're definitely there is gonna absolutely your... no way you're going to put that buttonhole in the wrong spot that's right if you fail <laughs> it's gonna go you um we'll have to have a whole separate kind of class we're gonna have to have another conversation <laughs> that's right that's right um but it's also there's decorative stuff in your embroidery um to put so around many. so like wings and mm -hmm. and flower things that you can do with buttonholes right. to decorate them so you know again pillows and, and the mm -hmm. like i'm not sure i want that across my chest but you, you never know could be cupcakes could be cupcakes could be cupcakes and mm -hmm. then somebody might want to feel them mm-hmm mm -hmm. Look at that cupcake. Can I is touch real? it? Is it real? <laughs> what are we talking about? <laughs> what part of me is real? Yep. Mm -hmm. you Everything's real. Always have to be careful where you put your cupcakes. Where you put your cupcakes <laughs> is very important. Um, so yeah. Um, and then like I said, that that actual tack down of the button itself is um super easy. I use that 
all the time for tacking things down so you don't get that billowing yep. when you um, have pre-quilted something mm -hmm. and don't want to have to actually stitch in the ditch or those kinds of things. Just do or, little tacks. Yeah, when somebody um, says, you should tie this quilt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. With the, my machine. With my machine is right. <laughs> um, and the other thing um, is like the cuddle fabrics. Mm -hmm. I used it for tagging because stitching on that, you're too top. It, there's, that's an almost impossible to get it to stay where you want it and mm -hmm. have, even with a walking foot, it's just, it's not fun. No. Um, so those are really good. You can pull them nice and tight mm -hmm. so that everything's where it's supposed to be and just do a little tack stitch and then move to the next spot. Mm -hmm. um, so there's a lot of ways that we can use um, some stitches that aren't necessarily how they were recommended or intended mm -hmm. for use. Got anything else? Mm, not about buttonholes. Not about buttonholes. <laughs> or, well, what else you got? Because that surely sounded like an open-ended thing right, right? there. I'm so excited about the cabinets coming tomorrow. Though I'm disappointed that I, I don't think I saw a binder come in. Uh, you're right. They said that was going to come today. Right? Maybe it'll come tomorrow. Um, But we're supposed to discuss it in our meeting in the morning. Hmm. I, yeah. I think, did something come in the mail that was like from Arrow? I feel like I saw like as I was walking by the mail she today. Did, she did bring our mail in. Right. So maybe it's big. It was like little, like skinny. It maybe. wasn't like I'm thinking a binder, right? We had the we had the nice um mail person. We today. did she brought our she stuff brought to our us mail instead to of us. shoving it all in this little cubby hole that doesn't fit. Nope. And then yelling at us that it's full. <laughs> maybe it's, maybe that's why she brought it maybe in. Maybe that's why she brought it in, is there's a binder out there that won't <laughs> Oh, yeah. Um, we're really glad that you um, are enjoying the classes. Um, you know, everything that we are doing on these, uh, we post. So you can always go back and watch it again mm -hmm. if you would like to. And, um, and trying to tag the, the... Sarah's trying to tag. I haven't done a darn thing. So I'm going to give you the whole credit on that one. <laughs> to make sure they're going in the right me. place. Um, so that they're find. easier to find for you. So, you know, there's sewing, embroidery, yes. uh, you know, surger. quilting, serger, whatever happens yeah. to be. Um, but they're broken down a little bit more so that they're easier to find rather than holy crap there's 50 videos which one do i want yeah um we've we've uh came up with that process that sarah has implemented yeah and it's so it really is much easier to find the videos on youtube if you need to reference them later on than it is on facebook i don't know yeah what... Fa i think facebook hides them i they have a weird algorithm and it's um it i think it must be new math new math <laughs> i don't like new math <laughs> My kids came home and said, how do I do this, mom? I said, you're going to do it my way <laughs> because, and then they all went, wow, that makes so much more sense. Can we invite the neighbors over and can you show them that too? And I'm like, no, I have some friends and they're okay. like, I failed. My, my friend was like, I failed fourth grade math. I'm like, what do you mean? She's like, I, I can't do it. She's like, I can't show them how to do it this way. And so my kids, they have the right answer, but they still failed because they and they, and they can't show their work. So, way. you know, I'm, like, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't, I wouldn't want to be a teacher or a student right now. That would be you know, a tough job. And I got to say, you know, we have certainly learned so much in the months that we've been doing this, but I got to give props to all you teachers out there. I have seen all of the prep and, and whatnot work that is going into these virtual classes. And I am so glad that's not me because <laughs> holy crap, um, I am just flabbergasted by how much um, has to go into each day's class prep to be able to do that all virtually. So Bless your hearts. Would you knock that oh, off? So I'm just sorry. not going to look at you because I don't need to start yawning. I yawned through one of my lessons today. I felt really bad. I was like, I'm going to go get a piece of sugar. Anyway, I got some candy over here. Would you guys like a piece? Because I think I need a little pick me up. Oh, yeah. So um, Sarah is dying to check out the whole cabinet thing. So I think we're probably done for the day because she's already done. <laughs> So we really appreciate you guys um, checking in with us. Again, we've got um, that wonderful lace uh, free free event um, at three o'clock this Friday. So please um, join us, um, and that's going to stay posted for twenty four hours. hours. So you you know if Friday doesn't work for you, half Saturday morning you can um, pop in there and check it out. Right. There will be sales. Don't know what on. No. Um, I don't imagine it'll be their entire collection of stuff, but their lace and probably stabilizers that they'll be talking about things like that. Um, which you can order right through that site. Um, we get that question all the time, and we certainly bless you guys for asking. Yes, we do get credit mm -hmm. if you place an order from one of those events that we're sponsoring. So thank you. Um, we certainly appreciate it. Cause we do. It certainly it makes helps. it all adds up and mm -hmm. makes a very big and difference. And we have definitely been struggling with keeping stabilizer in the store. It's very um, hard to get here. So, um, you know, we, we do have an empty bin or two 
yes. um, and some that are kind of low and it's not because we're not ordering it. It's because it's not, um, yeah, it's and, just not available to back right. order. And so. so, and the products and the, the brands that we use are fluctuating quite a bit right now because, yes. um, we're kind of some, at some point we're kind of desperate. We're like, we really need, well, I really need sticky. So we're going to get it from here, even right. though we wouldn't normally have gotten right. it from there. They're the only ones that have it in stock. So there you go. So that's yes. where we get it. Um, eventually, um, the stock will write itself and it will yeah. be, um, somewhat normal again, whatever normal ends up being right. But right now it's crazy. And, uh, Thank you guys for putting up with it. The yes, ever evolving. Unfortunately, it really is out of our hands, yes. which I'm sure you guys hate hearing at this point, but um, we are totally at the mercy of those trucks and when they're going to get here. And, right. um, and the, um, and the employees and, and knock on wood, we have been so lucky that none of us have gotten sick. Yeah. Um, but um, we are starting to hear more and more about that's like, what's happening. That backlog is because they're having to close their offices and, you know, everybody has to take two weeks off work. Right, um, and right. so things are really, um, really, really hard. Yes. <laughs> so yes. we certainly understand, um, doesn't make it any easier to function no. um, on this end, but um, it, it is certainly happening in a lot of places. Mm -hmm. So um, Shirley, we are going to be doing bag ladies. It starts on the 22nd, goes through the 27th. So it's the end of this month and it is 30% off um, pre-cuts. Pre -cuts. Um, and, and bundles of pre-cuts. Mm -hmm. um, so those fabric bundles, um, you guys get a nice chunk off. Next question that's going to pop up is what is a bag lady and how do I become one? Um, so if you are not already a bag lady, we do have a stabilizer event that we have um, planned coming up in April. April. Mm -hmm. um, so that is how they became bag ladies. Basically, is you spend this amount of money mm -hmm. and you become a bag lady. So we actually have Labu bags. It's not on anymore. It's not on anymore. You guys would have got seasick because that camera just went flying. <laughs> um, so basically um, at that event, which right now we are planning to do virtually, virtually um, yep. for lack of until we know anything else, um, that's going to be the plan. So and we are working really hard on our website. We a really real are. Grown up um, a website. real grown up, big girl website yes. coming your way. Yeah, we have um, been working on it hard. So that you guys can order at home and we can ship it out um, mm -hmm. and so on and so forth. So all of these things are in the works. We are frantically typing away, trying to yes. get things loaded into the new site before we go live with that so that there are um, some abilities. So um, if you are interested in the bag lady, I can't quite. Um, that is uh, Canvas. Canvas, there's an update. So you might want to tell the ladies to update. Yes. So basically when you turn your program on, it will tell you um, that there is an available update. Unless you have deactivated that, you can go up under the help menu on that download version. Mm -hmm. um, if you have deactivated the notification aspect um, and there, there is an update. But no big deal because in that class, you really aren't going to be working. It's not going to be like this new feature or that. I'm really talking basics um, and the differences between the two to, to clarify. Mm -hmm. But you're absolutely right, Pam. There is um, a new update out for that system. Um, it happens really fast. Basically, it says, would you like me to load it? And you go, uh-huh. And then you click install and it does it. And then you, you open it. opens. I think it even opened back up on its own, if I remember Ding. right. So um, very, very straightforward. Um, awesome. So yeah, that's what's coming. And um, you can uh, still have a chance to become a Labu bag lady if you would like. Mm -hmm. There's some times coming up that you can do that. So thanks again for joining us. We certainly appreciate you guys taking um, the hour-ish mm -hmm. out of your day and spending it with us. And we will see you next time. Bye, Bye. guys.